Hi, hello OAS family. It is time for another book review and today we are going to be reviewing Peony Paintings by Wang Yuping. Before we get into the details of the book, the general statistics, the book is eight and a quarter inches wide by 11 and three quarter inches tall. It has approximately 126 pages and it has text in Chinese. So, uh, and also interestingly enough, this book is bound in the sort of traditional Chinese direction. So it is bound to be read uh, from what a Westerner would think back to front. Uh, so it is meant to be opened this way and read this way, because typically uh, the way uh, Chinese is, is read is it's read vertically from right to left rather than horizontally from left to right like English. So that is uh, the basic uh, general statistics of the book. So we're gonna get right into it here. So we, we this book is basically, as the title implies, a book of finished compositions by various artists focused around the subject of peony. So you'll see here that we have a lot of different styles. This is our first uh, uh, featured artist um, with a, a bit of a, a more of a, an elaborate style and there's some biographical information here for those of you who are able to read Chinese uh, you can see here you've got uh, these very uh, detailed elaborate style paintings and now we're shifting gears over here into something a little bit in the more spontaneous style more boneless shei style and you can see how different uh, the de depictions are when you have here uh, this very elaborate uh, style painting um, where you, you will have outlines and uh, multiple layers of shading. And then you have this much freer style that's based on the calligraphy strokes. Um, and uh, you, can, you can see the two styles back to back and they're, they're quite uh, striking next to each other, strikingly different. Um, if you guys are interested in this uh, uh, fine line style, this Gongbi style, our next virtual office hour section is uh, all, gonna be all about uh, Gongbi painting for, for brand new people. So uh, it is a really, it's gonna be a really uh, excellent session. So you can just place any order to qualify uh, for that session. Uh, and uh, for, if you haven't heard, uh, our virtual office hours are really well received. They have very loyal fan base of people that attend every single one. Uh, and so they are almost always worthwhile. So here we have, uh, this is kind of an interesting uh, juxtaposition of two sort of similar vertical based compositions. Uh, and on the right hand side, you have sort of a, a, a painting on darker paper with where the, a lot of the blossoms are chosen to be rendered in white uh, for the contrast. And then over here, we have a much softer look, um, also vertically oriented um, with these sort of peonies set against uh, these rock structures here. We have four uh, vertical paintings side by side here, really lovely uh, compositions, all in the more spontaneous style. So you can see going here from left to right. And then we have uh, four done in fan shapes. These are fan shape paintings. So really great book to get composition ideas. So you'll see lots of examples of different compositions, uh, ones that are quite simple like this one uh, to ones that uh, get more complex over here on the right hand side. This is a nice blend of styles here where you you see some buds and, and certain flowers uh, chosen um, uh, to be outlined, uh, if they're, if they're white buds or white flowers, he, the artist chooses to do them in outlines to show the white. Uh, and then the rest of them, uh, are sort of without line work done in a more, uh, boneless style, uh, for the colored buds. So that's interesting to have those side by side like that. Here's lovely peony painting, kind of in the style of Zhao Sao An. Uh, 
Um, and you can see uh, this sort of uh, Ling Nan style where they really use the, the moisture and the, the bleeding. So this is kind of, peony is cool, a very cool subject to, to go into. Um, for those of you who are looking for, to be less worried about moisture, because the nature of the peony, you can see that, you know, you, it, it's such an expansive, abundant, lush flower that getting a little bit of expansion in those strokes is actually not a bad thing at all. Um, so I really feel like the peony is a little bit more forgiving than some of the other subjects, especially like four gentlemen, for example. Um, and you can really just use that to depict the, the sort of lushness of the flower. Here's a couple of very simple um, kind of renderings done on, you can see they're done on semi-sized paper with um, very simple buds. A really nice example of a peony not looking so complicated. So interesting, uh, here we have this uh, peony in a, in a pot, um, like next to these sort of like, almost like pine bonsai kind of ideas. And then you have this lounging cat over here on the right hand side with a bamboo, really interesting painting that has a lot of different elements in it and is full of charm. Some more examples of these vertical paintings done in the spontaneous style. Beautiful peony set against, uh, featured alongside this stunning peacock here. Uh, and then two more simple, uh, uh, simpler compositions, but also done in a little bit more of a detailed style. Once again, we see this sort of Zhao Zhao An reminiscent style here, where we have this very uh, dynamic, almost chaotic leaf work and branches, very forceful and dynamic in the leaves and branches, and then really set aside, set against this lovely soft um, petal. All right, so going forward here, a couple paintings done in the uh, fine line or gongbi style, one featuring a butterfly here with a couple, a pair of birds. Beautiful color work here where they're showing this contrast of the folding petals and you can see the lighter side of the petals depicted here against uh, the darker front side of the petals. Uh, really lovely technique shown there. And a few more paintings in the fine line style. And then now we're back into uh, a, a more spontaneous style here. Again, showing sort of peony uh, as part of human created uh, centerpieces or decorations. And then a couple lovely variations of this, uh, you know, collection of flowers. You can see these different composition ideas here working, this kind of host and guest idea, right? Uh, and then, you know, all of these have this idea of like host and guest, very nicely done here. Uh, more spontaneous style examples here showing the variety possible in this subject. This whole book has just peony paintings and it's really nice to see an, you know, a single subject um, depicted in so many different ways. It really shows you the possibilities. It's like you can, they're almost inexhaustible. Uh, with a pair of chickens here, rooster and hen alongside a peony. couple more spontaneous style. You can see here very loose with the moisture work here. Nice 
color work again showing front and back side of the pedals uh, in this in again a more spontaneous style and then you can also see here this example of choosing to depict a white flower using outlines and the sort of white of the paper with some ink shading to show variety. And then more examples of spontaneous style depictions. Less than halfway through the book and you can just see how many examples of peony paintings you're finding here. This is a style that we're more used to seeing here, a style that's closer to um, closer to like a, a Johnson Chow or Ning Ye style of spontaneous style painting. Really beautiful leaves here in all four of these paintings. Quite different, but all very lovely leaf work, leaf and branch work. A pair of kittens shown with peony here. I like how we have this very clear centerpiece of the flower and then it sort of dithers off with the cats offering a nice transition between this and this more wild grass here on the left. Sort of like emperor and peasants and liaison. <laughs> All right, so on the right hand side we have a couple of birds shown with peony in this very lovely spontaneous style. So nice, again, you see a, a really diverse mix of styles in this book. Really striking color work here. You can see the mineral green shown there. This is a really unique, um, very, I feel like this is very modern um, style. We're, sh we're showing these up close shot and blocks of color and uh, uh, an attempt to be more abstract. No, same style here, lovely. Very, very modern feeling, but you can tell it's, it's unmistakably, you know, like Chinese, but it does have like a, a more modern flavor than um, some of the more traditional depictions. Nice, we're, we see just uh, mo mostly outline work here. You know, outline work and some very um, uh, modest shading to create this composition. Oh, wow, beautiful painting with the rock and a couple birds and this uh, lilting group of peonies here on the right-hand side. Very wild. Uh, depictions here you can see kind of like this idea of the wind in this top painting and then just this unbridled beauty of the peony sort of exploding out in this work attracting these two bees a couple more Pictures here. This fan style painting here. And then again, shown in this classic sort of flower bird rendering. I really like the choice to, to, to create this little um, bamboo branch here on the left, a call to the four gentlemen and a real strong yang element in this dark ink to balance the yin of the flower. So uh, nice, very uh, fall sort of colors here with these pair of birds. Uh, beautiful depiction. Uh, this is the first time we're seeing kind of a background wash used. So really interesting choice to have this sort of willow in the foreground, sort of obscuring this peony, but we do see a, a really nice glimpse of it here. Um, really interesting when you have the moon and mist and really lovely techniques in that painting. 
And a couple more examples here on the left. Again, back to the fine line style. You can see this lovely shading black flower here with the little red edges, very striking. Really endless uh, color combinations that can be explored here from subtle to very striking. Lots of classic elements here. We have peony, we have narcissus, we have bamboo, we have pine, we have birds. Lots of uh, classic subjects there rendered in a single painting. Beautiful, gorgeous, gongbi style painting. Some more really lovely sort of like monochromatic, you know, all the colors being in this kind of very similar family um, produces a great sense of harmony and mood over here on the right. And then this lovely striking dark shading that's set against the white here on the left. Back to the spontaneous style in these three paintings. Some ink ideas here. Some beautiful simpler compositions here, just single flower and bud with uh, leaf structures. I love this set against this uh, foreground bamboo. It's kind of upstaging the peony there. Some lovely, simpler compositions here on the right-hand side. Then we have a flower bird combination and then peony with bamboo. First time we see it uh, depicted with a uh, koi or carp. A couple flower bird examples right there. Really nice. Uh, spontaneous style but a much a very orderly presentation here very um, intentional stroke work even though it's spontaneous style and then I have you have sort of a freer rendering here look at the charm of this bird there depicted in this way Some very nice examples of spontaneous style. Nice triangular compositions here. So you can see these, all these, this triangle concept where we're making a triangle all the time with the elements, main elements. You can see it at work there. So spontaneous style here on the left and gongbi or fine line, uh, I mean, sorry, spontaneous style on the right and gongbi or fine line here on the left. Couple more beautiful, softer depictions in the spontaneous style. Striking use of the mineral blue here in this gongbi, and I love the back side of the leaf color worked in here. It really does a nice job to break up the monotony of this monochromatic leaf group. Beautiful here where we have uh, the spontaneous style used for rendering the leaves and the background elements and then they choose to do um, the foreground flowers um, with very meticulously done outlines and shading. Really nice effect there blending the two styles. So really uh, lots of inspiration in this book. Not quite to the end of it and I'm so feeling so... Um, 
so full of peony inspiration. Charming, these two. Both the leaves and the flowers have this sort of lovely roundness to them. Nice sort of pheasant with mantis and peony. Cats playing with butterflies here and then classic flower bird combination here. A few more paintings we finish up, getting to the end of the book. And there we are. So that is it. That is Peony Paintings by Wang Lu Ping. And uh, if you want to purchase this book or you need more information, you can go to our website at orientalartsupply.com. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, we wish you happy painting. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, we wish you happy painting. <laughs>